Hey, it's Slammerama from GamingDrunk.com, bringing you another video on Fallout New Vegas. Uh, this one's a very short video, but a lot of people have been asking about how to play Caravan. It's a very easy game. The, the goal of the game, don't worry about anything else because I'm going to show you how to win almost every time without even worrying about all the rest, about what eight Jokers do, what does Queens do, all the other shit. You don't have to worry about any of that. The goal of the game is to get to 26. I'm going to be honest, when I started playing this game, and this is actually uh, a long time ago I had this footage, because um, I felt really stupid, I started thinking like a normal gamer, you know, oh, this is a card game, you know, try and figure out different ways to get to 26. But then it came in, you know, in my head that you can easily drop cards in your deck. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to show you exactly how to win in Caravan I would probably say 95, at least 95% of the time. So first, let's start with your caravan deck. Don't randomize it. What you want to do ha is to have at least three tens, three nines, and three sevens. Now me, uh, I just have filler in, and I selected every ten, nine, and seven I have in my uh, deck available. So just make sure you you include all those, because those are the only cards you're going to be using the entire game. And you probably have caught on already. That's 26. You're done. So in your hand, you want to have three tens, three nines, and three sevens. And you'll win. Because of the way the computer plays the game, it usually works on one of the, they call them tracks, or if you want to call them piles, it's up to you. But in the game, they're called tracks. The computer usually works on one track at a time, getting to 26 or as close as it can. You can take advantage of that by winning the other two tracks before it even has a chance because you have tens, nines, and sevens. You only need three cards. Uh, while so while the computer is coming up with some crazy combination of cards to get to 26, you're not worried about that. Uh, so again, start your track with your ten. Then after you have three tens, see which track the computer is working on. Go to one of the tracks that it's not working on. Get to 26. Then work on the next one and then get the 26 with the second normally you only have to get two tracks to win because the computer will sometimes most of the time actually get 26 on the one it's working on uh, but it doesn't matter because while it's working on that first one you got two so you win and in this case it didn't work out that way um, this is suddenly happens so as you can see I have 26 in all three so I win that's the game how stupid it is like I was trying to explain before, this is actually near the start of when I started playing Fallout. I couldn't believe how simple it was after I lost two games. Uh, I kind of got pissed off, thinking, what the hell was I thinking before? But I finally smartened up and started to think, well, I can win this easily just by using three cards in each, in each track. Uh, so that's it. That's how you win, I would say, 95% of the time. Um, I don't consider this cheating. It's in the game. It's just remember this is not a a, a game you, you know, a casino game. It's meant to parry uh, you know match wits between you and the player you're playing with, uh, playing against. So this is not a cheat that I frown upon like the infinite XP glitch and other shit that's in the game sometimes that people use. This is just you knowing how to count. <laughs> how stupid that fucking sounds. So thanks for watching. This is Slamrama from GamingDrunk.com.